So, <laughs> uh, my name is David Adam Kurz. I host this every single Thursday at 11 a.m. And uh, we're super excited to have you here. I'm the owner and founder of the Freedom Organization. We're a coaching and consulting company. Also run a real estate team deep down here in South Florida. And newly, man, many of you don't even know this. We haven't even made publicly announced, but uh, we had the New You Real Estate Conference in New York last week. And um, I've taken on a role as president of New World Title Texas. So we're going to have a lot of fun in 2024. We're going to do massive growth, massive things. And so we're very excited about what we're building up. Uh, so those of you that have cameras that can totally be turned on because you have all your clothes on, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I definitely <laughs> want to see your faces. You know, if you don't have all your clothes on, please leave the camera off. I can tell you funny stories about massive Zooms that I've had that we've actually had to sit there and watch people use the bathroom. So uh, yeah, it's 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 been a crazy world sometimes. But, um, you know, that's Zoom life, post-COVID life, right? Uh, very excited to have everybody here. So the first thing that we do every time we get on one of these Zoom meetings is we jump right into the chat box and we write, it's a freedom day. So go ahead, everybody jump into the chat box, type it out there. It's a freedom day. If you're familiar with my method, you understand that we are all here to learn more and be able to adapt more so that we can create the freedoms in our life that we desire and deserve, right? Uh, so I just want to cover a couple of things that we did. Thank you, Chandra. Thank you, Vaughn. Thank you, Nick. Uh, thank you, iPhone 8, whoever you are. My love to you. Uh, Carlos, thank you. Paolo, thank you. Kathy says, I'm sick, but I'm her. I got you, girl. <laughs> Carol, thank you very much. Great seeing you. And so we're super excited because in the last few weeks, I've had the opportunity to speak in Dallas. I've had the opportunity to speak in Austin. I did some great things in San Antonio. Then I was in New York for New Recon. Many of you that were logged in last week actually saw that happen because we came in. What happened? Oh, okay. We came in and, and uh, <laughs> Does anybody know if Mercury's in retrograde? Possible. It's possible. Nothing like the universe telling you about buy a new computer. All right. So, <laughs> so I'm going to finish this off because apparently Nick has a better computer than I do right now. Um, <laughs> Uh, we had a really exciting week. We hit my book launched November 1st, The Truth About Failure. Super excited. We actually hit number one new releases in business on Amazon. That was bananas, by the way. So I'm going to send love and thank you to all of you guys because I couldn't have done it without you guys. Uh, incredible, incredible opportunity. I just got a message from Orlando, an agent sitting in the audience, and they had a giveaway and it was actually my book. And so she sent me a text and she goes, look what I just won as a giveaway at the Orlando Real Producers Conference. And I was like, dude, my book is being given away at conferences without my knowledge, which is incredible. It's a blessing. I'm super humbled by that. But my goal for the last uh, couple of weeks and the next couple of weeks has been how do we help you guys make more money? Everybody's so concerned with the market and what's happening with the market, right? And so everybody seems very well aware that they may do less deals next year. It's just kind of become a fact of life for a lot of people. I don't believe it has to be, but the market's going to dictate, right? And so for many of you that stay in that maybe did you know, 20 deals, 15 deals last year, that might look like nine to 10 or eight this year, right? And so how do we, with every single deal, add a certain amount of money that you can use, right? I, if you have ever heard me speak about being the conduit to everything real estate, I want you guys to not only be the real estate consultant, but be the conduit to everything real estate. If your client needs a plumber, you know where to go. If your client needs um, you know, a new TV, you got the hookup. If they got cable, you got the great guy. If you got ADT, you got the right guy. But I want you guys to be able to get paid on all these things, right? Not just be the, re the referral source, but get paid on referrals. 
And there's many options for that. ADT has them, Comcast has them, everybody has them. And so last week we had a great opportunity. We had uh, uh, Bhavan on, on here talking about Legal Shield. It gave you, you know, we're very strict about how we present these folks. They come on, they present with value, and then they show you what they got, and you decide if you want to add it to your repertoire or not. The reason I believe in Legal Shield is because so many people buy houses and then they don't have trusts, they don't have wills, they don't have so many things in place that are critical. And so, you know, today, when somebody looks at you and says, hey, you know, I've been thinking about putting solar dish, you know, uh, solar panels on my on my roof, I want you to have a guy. And so I'd like to thoroughly introduce Nick Sarnicola. Nick is a has become a very good friend over, you know, the last, I don't know, several months. We've spoken together on stages. I've been to his house for a mastermind. He, you know, it's it's been incredible. Uh, we've been able to create a collaboration of minds. And I love what he's doing for the real estate industry on the solar panel side. It's not an MLM. It's not of that crazy stuff. It's an opportunity for you to be able to earn a deep, you know, a 20% raise on your commission. Like mathematically, we've seen it. It works. And so, uh, you know, Nick's going to come to you with tremendous value. I'll tell you what. I was almost done with my book until I, I heard Nick speak at his mastermind at the house. And then I looked at Nick and I was like, you know what? Screw you, man, because I got to change the whole section of my book because of you. <laughs> and he was named in my book because of that. So thank you, Nick, for being here with me today. Thank you for being here for the crew that follows us every Thursday at 11 a.m. I appreciate you. And I'm going to go ahead and hand the mic over to you. Thank you, brother. Hey, guys, first of all, everyone give some uh, some some clappy hands in the chat box to the number one business book out there. Amazon, clappy hands. Yes, sir. That's my guy right there. I love it. So guys, I've been so impressed with Dave, his leadership, his intensity, his content. Uh, also just his passion. He's just a passionate leader. Uh, and I love working with people like that. Uh, let me loop you guys in. I'm not a solar guy. I'm an entrepreneur. I've built global businesses. Uh, I built a company for 15 years. I did a couple billion in sales in 19 countries, three and a half million customers. So um, I've seen the ups and downs of, of the business world at the highest level uh, and, at, and at the lowest level, the most extreme level in both directions. Um, I made the pivot into solar while creating a, a sales accelerator as one of our divisions and quickly found uh, the opportunity between the relationship of um, a real estate agent and the homeowner, uh, and then also was able to uncover that there is a dislike um, from the real estate world to the solar world. And I said, this is perfect because as a non-solar guy, I got an opportunity to create um, an educational platform to share with uh, real estate agents what's changed in solar and why it's no longer um, two worlds that fight against each other, but two worlds that should work together. And how can we move some of that money that these annoying door knockers are, are taken in by the truckloads and how do we move that to the agent, right? You guys hold the relationship. You guys hold the trust. How do we move the money to you? Uh, and it's interesting where the world's going in real estate. I had a theory three, four years ago. Um, I lived on Palm Island and I had this really awesome house and it was really hard to manage. And uh, Jose, who was kind of like a house manager, he was he was not of the level of being able to manage everything. My personal system was not at the level of being able to manage everything. I didn't have the time to do it. And I had this theory. I said, you know what? We need like real estate concierge, like, like a real estate agent that has all the hookups and all the connections and you just call your agent and they just handle that shit. So I, I got a future for, I think there's in a few years from now, I think you guys will charge like a thousand dollars per client or $2,000 per client as like a concierge to all the services and, uh, and, and make yourself a great 10, $20,000 a month income. Whoever wants to be the first one to run with it, go for it. That's not what we're here to talk about. Um, so we're going to dive in as quickly as we can. I'm going to kick it to my partner. He's going to show some visuals, uh, on the, on the first bucket of slides. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm in Miami. Uh, if you want to uh, kick off in the comments, I'd love to know where everybody is from, where you guys are doing business. So if you can hit the comments, where you're doing business, I'm a dad down here. got a couple kids. Uh, and I share with you guys, I've been an entrepreneur for, for decades now. So with that, uh, I'm going to kick it to my business partner, Paulo. He's got decades in the real estate mortgage business. And he's going to kind of share with you guys uh, our story and, and how it connected uh, recently to take this business model out uh, to all of you. So, Paulo, over to you, brother. Absolutely. Thank you, Nick. Um, so, like Nick mentioned, I'm, I'm a veteran of the mortgage industry of almost two decades now. So, I really consider myself a real estate person, not so much a solo person. And um, in November last year, Nick brought to me a business plan. He said, hey, you, you know real estate. Do me a favor, read through it and poke a hole through it. 
So I did. And I said, hey, it's going to work. Congratulations. Good luck. And he said to me, wait a second. You're the face of the business. Uh, hold on a second. I've got to admit someone. You're the face of the business. When do you start? Um, and so he ambushed me with this business plan. I hung up the phone and laughed because I have a mortgage a business that I'm trying to run. But Nick has his ways about me, about him. And he uh, he convinced me to join him and burn the candle at both ends. So my the reason for my being here is because of the massive opportunity that we that we have in front of us with the transition to solar. I'm going to cover some of those things um, as we go here. I'm going to try to share my screen. Um, and Dave, if I need the rights to do that, please grant them. Uh, thumbs up if you see renewable real estate. Perfect. Okay. All right, awesome. So that's the name of our company. We approach business in three ways. Number one is we want to unify the two industries. What do I mean with that? Well, the soil industry and the real estate industry have been at complete odds with each other. Um, and I include myself on that. I don't, don't particularly like solar people. We'll get into some of the reasons uh, as to why that is. So that's number one. We want to Unify the two industries, a lot has changed, so we want to close the knowledge gap between the two. Number two is protect homeowners. I want you to think of the solar industry today as mortgage was in 2004, 2005. Mortgage was very underregulated. Your personal trainer probably had a mortgage license. Uh, maybe your plumber had one too. And the point is that when you have that kind of mismatch, uh, you're going to have clients that are mistreated. And, and that's what's going on in solar today. Lastly, we want to compensate professionals. These are your clients that are going solar. So why are you not making that commission? Okay, so uh, I'm going to skip over this slide. Here's what solar installations have done. So the, the, the industry was in its infancy in 2010. But if you follow my mouse, here's where we are in 2023. And we're literally going to double in the next seven years. By the end of the decade, we're literally going to double. But the question is why? What's driving all of that? Well, number one is a government push. If you have any ties to California, you know that new construction homes are required to have energy efficiency, right? So that's a, a state push. You have to ask yourself, when will other states start adopting similar measures? Uh, here's number two, uh, Texas. Uh, they had a massive heat wave this summer. Had it not been for their solar farms, their grid wouldn't have been, in, been able to keep up. Here's the Biden administration talking about taking gas-powered cars off the roads by 2032. Here's the UK saying they're going to do it by 2030. So all that's of a government push. But that's not the slide that really got me. The slide that really got me is this one. This is a list of car manufacturers that will only be producing electric vehicles by the year that you see in the parenthesis. Now, what you should notice is this is the majority of the manufacturers that put cars on our roads. So as a real estate professional, I'm thinking to myself, wait a second, you're telling me that my entire book of business, 20 years of it, is going to be parking two, maybe three electric vehicles in their driveway within the next 10 years. Well, in case you don't know, for the average American family, that means that a power bill goes from $300 to $800 a month. And now we have a massive affordability problem. But that affordability problem is our opportunity because we have the solution. So if you look at some of these, uh, some of these manufacturers, they're, they're absolutely massive. Jaguar, that's a big one, 2030. Cadillac by 2030. Lexus, Mercedes-Benz, Mini, Rolls-Royce, Volvo. This is the majority of the cars on our roads. So as real estate professionals, it's our job to educate our existing customer base and say, hey, uh, in order for us to position you to sell for top dollar in the future, we need to talk about this, the, the shift that's happening in the solar market because your future buyer, the future buyer of your home is going to be making a buying decision based on affordability. And if you have solar and they've got electric vehicles, you're way more affordable than the neighbor that doesn't have solar. All right. So point here is if these cars, if these car manufacturers are going uh, uh, all electric, this solar shift is happening with or without us, whether we like it or not. Now, I mentioned that the problem is that real estate agents don't like solar lending people. Mortgage people don't like solar lending people. Why? Because they put those pesky little liens on our, on our transactions. And then two weeks into a contract, the title search comes back. We've got a solar lien on the property that we didn't know about. And now suddenly we don't have enough equity to pay off the solar lien and the mortgage. So we've got a sale that's blowing up. That's why we don't like them. All right, well, the opportunity is that everything has changed. And I'm gonna cover, cover that in the next few slides. There's a massive opportunity for us to play nice with each other with the solar industry uh, and make a good living in doing so. So our goal as a company is to increase the real estate agent's income by up to 20% per year. I know transactional volume is down. Uh, I know it feels really, really tough right now, especially with court cases going on about buy side commissions. So this is the side game, right? We don't want you going part-time real estate and then doing something else. We want you to stay in your lane and supplement your income with this opportunity. All right, so I mentioned that things have changed uh, 
and this is what this is the slide that encapsulates this. This th these are changes that have taken place over the last two years. Now, if you look at what the old reality is, right here in the white, you had even a large upfront investment. Uh, as I mentioned, solar companies would lien the home. You couldn't transfer the loan. So if you wanted to sell your home, you had to pay the solar lien first. You couldn't just transfer it to the next guy. Um, and of course, unprofessional door knockers. What I mean with this is the solar industry generates leads predominantly by, by door knocking. A lot of these people that are door knockers are kids freshly out of high school. They're armed with a memorized script and nothing else. They don't mean harm, but they do harm because they don't know what they're selling. And so a client ends up purchasing something, a bill of goods, right? They don't, they don't get what they thought they were purchasing. So what's the new reality? Well, all the barriers to entry have been dropped. There is no down payment requirement anymore. So that's good. Number two, that's the big one. No lien on home. The major private financing companies no longer lean a home. Why? Well, it's hard to justify why somebody would work, walk away from, say, a $200 a month solar payment to go back to paying a $300 a month electricity payment. It doesn't make sense. So they recognized that the default rates were low enough for them to no longer lean a home. There's a fixture filing on the, the solar panels, but there's no lien on title. And that's huge. Uh, number three, we can now transfer a loan to a new buyer. So if you're selling a home, you don't have to pay off your solar lien. You can, in fact, transfer it to the new buyer. And of course, uh, this is uh, Nick's specialty. Uh, we didn't get a chance to go into it, but Nick has built a global company that did $2.2 billion in sales. Uh, hit three and a half million customers across 19 countries, 70 of his people he took from, from not being millionaires to being millionaires. So Nick's specialty is this, this assemblage of a sales uh, a team, executive sales professionals that we pull from insurance business, real estate, mortgage, like myself, pharmaceutical, people that have the right caliber and level of sophistication to be dealing with you and your clients about an important, an, an important decision as this is. Okay, so in case you don't know, this is how the solar industry works today. From the moment that you guys flip the status in the MLS to closed, there's a solar company assigning a door knocking kid to go out to that house. And that kid's mission is to keep coming back to that house until your client's disillusionment with their electricity bill exceeds the desire to throw the kid off the porch. Kid gets a presentation and they make thousands of dollars on the back of your client. So the question is, why are you guys not making that commission? What if we could create a platform where you get paid twice for doing the work once. What do I mean with that? Well, we're not asking you to learn anything new and we don't want to take any time away from your real estate business. We simply want to piggyback on the rapport and trust that you've already built with your client through the home buying and home selling process. That's all we need. And of course, this, is, this opportunity is not just confined to the next few clients you're going to deal with here until the end of the year. This is your entire book of business. I want you to think what your number one source of business should be. It's your existing client base. That should be your number one source of business. So in order for that to be the case, you have to remain relevant in the lives of your clients. But if you just send out happy Halloween cards and just listed postcards, you're not doing anything different to the other guys that are mailing your clients. However, if you pick up the phone and you say, hey, Mr. Client, Mrs. Client, as your trusted agent, I need to, uh, uh, in order to position you to sell for top dollar when the time comes, and statistically speaking, that will be in the next 7 to 10 years, we need to talk about the shift that's going on in solar. I know this guy, Nick, at this reputable company. Let me make an introduction to him. That's it. Remember, Dave already mentioned this at the beginning. You are the number one trusted source for all things real estate. Okay, they will trust you when you make a recommendation to look into solar. You don't need to sell anything. You don't need to learn anything new. You just stay in your lane. All right, so real quick, how are we structured? Well, you are the real estate agent, of course, and you have your client. We have the executive account manager, and we bring the installation network to your client. Renewable real estate is that bridge between the two worlds that haven't really communicated in the past. It's that simple. So with that said, we're not the only solar company uh, in the business. So Nick, why don't you uh, jump in and tell us why we are different? I shall. Uh, one second here. And give me a thumbs up if you see the slides follow. Hold on. I think I'm still sharing. Boom. Says that I presentation mode. Yeah. There you go. Okay. You go. All right. So thank you very much. And uh, gang, if you have any questions, by the way, as we're going, just drop them in that chat box as we're talking. You know, we'll, we'll keep it flowing and we'll keep sharing as, as we're going here. But I just want to make sure that you guys are getting, you know, we're capturing your questions as we go. So um, one of the things I want to share is, is Florida. Since most of you guys are from Florida, Florida is the third most installed state in the country. 
So how big is Florida? Third most installed. It's primarily in the I-4 corridor. Uh, and then number two is um, Florida is currently number one this year by 50%. I'm going to repeat that. Florida has installed more than California and Texas this year by 50% year to date. So that's a really big thing. So why are we different? Um, I think the most important thing is we can share is that we're not from the solar industry. And uh, this means we have a different set of values, a different set of way of looking at things, but we see clearly where the industry is going and the opportunity lies. Um, but we see ourselves as an industry, excuse me, a real estate industry first company. So our clients are brokers and agents, right? So look at us like a, a title company. You have a title rep, you have a mortgage banker and a loan officer. Like we're in and out of people's offices. We're hosting Taco Tuesday. We're presenting new information every 30 to 60 days inside the office. So that is our niche and that is our lane. We're dedicated to you guys. You guys will have a dedicated executive account manager. In fact, the one that you guys will have is actually uh, Thomas. You can see him there with the with the glasses and the, the beautiful head. He's got a beautiful head there. No hair on it, just a beautiful head. So Thomas is from the banking industry, uh, is, was one of the youngest VPs in the history of his bank that he was at, but came out of retirement to do solo with his son. Like this is a real, real business partner you guys can rely on. This is the guy that would be meeting with your clients on behalf of you. Now, number three is we have the largest commission splits uh, available. Most solar companies don't value your referral. They're like, oh yeah, I'll give you a thousand bucks. Or I'll give you 500 bucks. We do a full commission split. So we take the, the entire gross commission and we give you 50% of it, up to 50% of it. Um, number four is speed to install. I'll explain that in a minute. And lastly, we're an extension of your brand in the community. So this is the website. I posted it earlier, but if you want to go right now, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a walkthrough here in a minute of the partner logging. This is free. There's no monthly fees. There's no annual costs. So if you can really quickly go to renewable.realestate, renewable.realestate, I'll type it, uh, I'll, I'll drop in the messages here, renewable.realestate. Go there, hit the enroll button, and you just fill out the information, you know, name, uh, address, uh, sorry, name, state, city, and then add um, uh, add your team leader, so to speak. So go to renewable.realestate and enroll, take you 30 seconds. And then when I go to the partner login, I'm going to walk you through so you can follow along on the partner login. So here's some brief education. What, what is solar? Solar is five things. Number one is the hardware. The hardware is made by the manufacturers. Number two is the installers. Installers are the ones that are pounding the nails and pounding the glass. Number three are the dealers. Um, we are a national dealer and we have uh, uh, no, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, exclusivity. Thank you. We have no exclusivity, which is extremely important because we're not bound by any one panel or any one financial product. We have the ability to access all panels, all financial products, et cetera. Uh, there's the finance companies, just like in real estate, those are the banks. And then there's the software companies that tie those four together. So that's a brief solar education. Now, as a homeowner, which all of you guys uh, um, should be, uh, or, or at least at some point will be, you probably are asking yourself, why does my bill keep increasing? Every year, my bill goes up. In fact, in Florida, it went up 9.8% last year, which was a record. So your bill went up on, on average, depending, I don't know your power company, but it went up on average in Florida 10%. Can you imagine a bill that compounds every year, 10%, 10%, 10%? That's before everyone adds electric vehicles. If you add an electric vehicle, your bill's going to go up 40% the day you add the electric vehicle. So here's why. It's really simple. It's called infrastructure and manpower. Look at all the infrastructure it takes to get power to your house. This infrastructure is decades old and it takes a ton of humans to run all of this stuff and all of this infrastructure into your house, okay? So that's why your bill will always go up and that's why it's gone up for the last 25 years, compounded every single year. It's never going down. But here is going to be, I'm a capitalist, I'm an entrepreneur. All I can do is tip my hat and do my best to, to battle against we're about to go through one of the biggest entrepreneurial like coups of all time. And people are just going to, they have no idea it's about to happen. In Florida, I'm sure you've noticed that your utility company is sprinting to build solar farms. How many of you guys have noticed that there's solar farms going up everywhere, all over the place? And what you didn't know is that's your utility company. So what does that mean? That means your utility uh, uh, company is replacing the power plant with the sun. 
So as an agent, you're annoyed because some 23-year-old kid sold a loan product seven years ago that messed up one of your, your transactions. So you're going to hold on to that resentment for 10 more years while, while saying, I hate solar. Meanwhile, you're paying for solar every month with your own bill, preaching to the world you'll never go solar, not knowing you already did. Let that sink in. Because we're all going solar. The question is, you're either going to buy it from your power company at a premium, or you're going to buy it from yourself. And you're going to take that sun directly to your house, and you're going to become your own power company. Never in the history of the world has this been possible. Now it is. Hey, guys, 15 years ago, I'm sure solar was super, like, um, it was, it was a, a, a political thing. 10 years ago, I'm sure it was. Five years ago, I'm sure it was. I don't know. I wasn't in it. Solar is no longer a political thing. Solar is now a financial thing. Solar is now a, wait, it's a race. It's a race for you to go solar before you buy it from your power company. Because we have no idea how long you'll be able to buy solar for yourself. Because I'm sure the power companies where all their trillions of dollars are going to work their asses off to block us as homeowners to be able to allow us to do this ourselves. So obviously there is an environmental impact. That environmental impact is very positive. But whether you're on this side or that side, it don't matter. It's no longer a political thing. So here's a benefit to you and your homeowners if you want to go solar. Number one, reduce the payment. Number two, hedge. Lock in your price now. If, you, if your power bill right now is on average, let's say it goes up and down, it's on average 350 bucks a month. But you go and lock in solar at 300 bucks a month. Next year, it's 300. Five years from now, it's 300. 10 years from now, it's 300. Right. But if you don't go solar, you're just at the mercy of your power company for the next 10 years, like you have been the last 10 years. Um, how many of you guys have, have noticed that there's I, I saw a Cape Corral person. This is not a joke. This is this is a serious matter. You know, they obviously got hit very hard with a, with a hurricane this time last year, a cat five. I personally was on the ground twice. I brought my 10 year old with me once. And we were out there at people's doors. We were handing out care packages and we were doing uh, wellness checks. It was a disaster. But just about 30 miles away from that area was a whole community, 80,000 people. And guess what? It was a community that all had solar and batteries, the whole community. Never lost power. Batteries underwater, three feet. Nobody, they were flipping through Netflix. They were on their Wi-Fi. They're on their cell phones. Their AC was running like nothing ever happened. So it's crazy to me that people live in Florida and they don't just go solar with a battery so that when the shit hits the fan, like guys, we just had a storm the last two days. My whole front, I got three feet of water up front. Thank goodness I can get out back. There's palms down everywhere, right? But, but this is just, I, I said to my kid today, he's like, oh my goodness, this is crazy. I said, imagine if this was a hurricane. We'd be locked here for a week or two. And unless you got solar with batteries, ain't nothing you can do. Obviously, you can have a generator. I get that. But a generator, guys, what happens if that generator runs out of fuel and you didn't buy enough backup fuel? There's enough fuel above you. It's called the sun. Um, this will increase your home value. It's not really hit yet much in Florida. But again, California has been doing this for a while. 4% already on average, their, in, their uh, increase in home value for solar homes versus non-solar homes. And then this one is the biggest one. I mean this financially. You can depreciate solar panels. You can depreciate this. We have the uh, one of only a few of exclusive contracts with the largest solar tax attorney firm in the country. They have 50,000 clients that they have shown how to depreciate the entire cost of going solar. Now, this is for people that have tax, you know, uh, some some tax uh, liability. If you don't have any tax liability, if you're, you know, if you're somebody that's a W-2 that doesn't make much money, then this isn't going to help. But if you're a 1099, if you've got clients that are 1099 or K-1, they make 200 grand a year, we're going to show them how to depreciate the entire cost of going solar. Here's what a bill would look like. Um, we lock in a price, boom. That price stays about the same. I'll tell you why about in a second, while your power bill keeps going. Look at this Delta. Why would you spend all this extra money to buy solar from your power company? Now, it does go up a little. Why does it go up a little? Because you're still connected to your power company by law. So they're going to charge a connection fee, 10 bucks, 15 bucks, whatever. Um, here's an example of savings. This is a, a real customer of ours. 
They save 20 grand with their federal income tax credit. This is before they move to their uh, depreciation. They locked in a price at 259. Three months from now, 259. Next year, 259. Five years from now, 259. How many of you guys would have loved uh, before the new administration took over to have locked in your gasoline price? <laughs> Same thing here. Lock in your energy costs. If you would have locked in your gasoline price at the gas station, why would you not lock in your energy costs? Because you can lock in your energy costs. Okay, let's talk about you guys. Let's make you guys some money. Okay, um, I haven't been watching the chat box, by the way, Paul. So if there's any questions, feel free to, to respond to them. Um, here's how power, or here's how solar works and how it's priced. It's priced on the amount of power consumption of the homeowner. It has zero connection to the size of the home. Yeah, let me say that again. It has a little connection or little connection to the size of the home and has zero connection to the, the cost of the home. You can't be like, well, this house is really expensive. Therefore, the solar, they're going to need more of it. There's, there's no relevancy there. The only relevancy is the amount of power the homeowner consumes. So based on that, you will have different sized systems. A system can range from four kilowatts all the way up to 40 kilowatts. Um, but I'm going to show you three, seven, 12, 20. Okay, a 12 is about a medium sized system. Based on our current margins and our current uh, profit margins and gross commission, if you referred us to an average size system, you'd make three grand. Tom would make three grand, you would make three grand. If you referred us to a small system, Tom would make 1750, you would make 1750. If you did one a month, you'd make 20 grand to, I gotta move my camera here, to 60 grand. Right? We want to just help you make an extra 20% this year on top of your gross commissions that you're making as a real estate agent with doing five minutes of work or less. Five minutes of work or less with reputable people that know what they're doing, that are going to take care of your customer uh, and are going to treat them like, it, it, well, it is our customer once you hand it to us. Okay, now, we're a national dealer with no exclusivity. What does that mean? We can sell everything. Every panel, every battery, every inverter, all the seven major finance companies. Why does this matter? Here's why. Other dealers, here's what they do. They strike a deal with one installer and they sign exclusivity. And then they, that installer strikes a deal with a finance company and they sign exclusivity. Now they are influenced to sell a certain finance product and they're influenced to sell a certain panel or a certain, and they just tell everyone it's the best. But that's not true. Just because something is right for this client does not mean it's right for that client. Just because this financial product is right for that client does not mean it's right for that client. These door knockers are trained in like three finance products. Our team is trained in 300 finance products. And we do what's right for the customer based on their needs. This is, we're selling finance. We're not selling solar. So you need people like a Tom that have a banking background that know how to sell paper. And then we only have contracts with tier one installers. I heard somebody mention earlier that some, they've met a bunch of people with issues with their installation. Yeah. Yeah, that's called hiring two chucks in a truck to pound a bunch of nails on your roof. Good luck. You don't hire two chucks in a truck to put a $50,000 system on top of a half a million dollar house on top of your roof that sits above $100,000 in vehicles. That's a bad move. But that's what people do because they want it cheaper. And they go get some guys to go pound a bunch of holes in the roof. Like, I got it cheaper. Yeah, but was that a smart move? We only work with the tier one installers that have all the insurances, all the warranties, cash in the bank, and they do the most amount of installs in the country. They're the biggest in the country. Okay, now how we choose them based on zip code is based on how fast they currently are in that zip code. Why does this matter? This is actually really, um, sorry, this is actually accurate data, and it's actually Orlando. Check it out. We have three installers. We actually have four installers in, in, in Orlando now. Three installers in, in Orlando. This one is 38 days. This one's 95 days. They're all tier one. They all have top quality. What's the difference? The warehouse manager. And for some reason in this area code in Orlando, that company, the team is not that good. But if you go down to, if you go up to Pensacola, installer B is faster than installer A. Why? Because the warehouse is closer, because the warehouse manager is better and the team is better. See guys, we know all this information 
and we know all the SLAs, the service level agreements, and we know it on a rolling 30 days. So we're able to find you guys the best installers in the country with, with everything you need from warranties, et cetera, but the one that's the best in that particular zip code. It's a super unique model. Okay, so um, I asked you guys a minute ago. We're almost done, by the way. We'll be done in five minutes. If you haven't done so yet, go to renewablerealestate.com. Excuse me, renewable.realestate, renewable.realestate. Last time, renewable.realestate. And you're going to go now if, you if you've already signed up. You should have already signed up. Go there and click upper right-hand corner, partner login. It's right here, partner login. So you guys can follow along. Check out how cool this is that we've already built for you guys. You're going to enter your cell phone number that you just entered in your registration. And here's how it works. If you want to submit a client, let's say yourself, you have a home, you want to test this out. You go to submit a client, low engagement or high engagement. The commissions I showed you guys earlier are high engagement. We used to show a low engagement slide, but so far we've had zero deals to date across nine states. Not one real estate agent has given us a low engagement referral because it doesn't make any sense to give us a low engagement. What's the difference? Data. So you guys are going to click on high engagement and you're going to give us name, address, phone number of the client. If you're the client, enter your information. Hit continue. And it's going to ask, how old's the roof? Is it in an HOA? Is it in a trust? Um, what's the approximate credit score? It's all information you already know. It then shows you where you're going to submit the power bill. So we're going to have you guys grab the power bill from the client because they trust you. You'll get it way faster. And then lastly, you do a text intro to Tom. Tom's pretty face, beautiful looking guy, is going to be right here. Now, when you first sign up, it probably shows Paulo. Paulo is not a paid actor. We now establish that. He's not just a handsome man from South Africa with a, with a, with a British accent that's also Portuguese. That happens to be my ex-wife's ex-boyfriend. True story. Just because Paulo's there, once we assign Paulo to Tom, uh, you guys will see Tom's beautiful face right there. Okay. Um, now, let's go back to uh, let's go back to the marketing center here. Click on marketing. How many of you guys do not want to spend any time figuring out what to do or what to say? I'd watch these two videos, but if you like to call your customers, no problem. We've wrote the scripts for you. If you like to email them, no problem. We wrote the scripts for you. Here's seven different emails. Uh, you like to text? Take a guess. Seven different scripts for texting. Um, you are, you're on social media? I hope so. If you're, in, if you're in business, you are. Here's your videos. Here's your graphics. And then there's your reels. There's also a bunch of blog posts right there. We did all the thinking for you. You could just make one solar post a week. Just make a habit of one solar post a week. Eventually, somebody's going to say something. You could, you could intelligently text five to 10 homeowners a week. You could send one email a month and you're going to get business. Business is going to come to you, okay? If you want to learn more about your uh, about solar, just click on this. If you want to rewatch the onboarding presentation we just went through, click on this. If you want to learn about solar, click on these videos. I recommend only do solar 101 or maybe the basics of a solar system. Why? Because you guys are real estate experts. You're not solar experts and you don't need to know everything about solar in order to refer it. Okay. I know some of you do feel that way, but that's also the same feeling that slowed you down in real estate. You thought you need to do everything about everything about everything and it's slowing you down in sales because in sales, you don't need to know all of the facts about everything to make a sale. Okay. Um, but if you feel, if it makes you feel comfortable, here's everything, two pages worth of stuff. And then lastly, commissions hop here. Watch these videos on commissions. Here's a commission calculator. Determine how much money you want to make. And it will tell you the deal flow you got to create. I'm going to show you guys as we close how you can make money through uh, passive income as well. Because the only thing uh, uh, better than getting paid twice for doing some, excuse me, uh, for getting paid twice for doing the work once, the only thing better than that is passive income. Okay, so passive income is done through our customer rewards program. Here's how this works. Sorry, guys, it took me a second to get back to my slide deck here. It was hiding from me. We have an already existing customer rewards model. We're gonna be giving 
uh, uh, rewards to your customers, but one of them that's unique is when they refer us to other clients, we take them on an all expenses paid vacation. How we do this and how we incentivize this is this, we're gonna host a solar barbecue. We're gonna have the, we're gonna pay for it. We're gonna bring over your homeowners, neighbors, friends, and family. We're gonna invite you, the real estate agent. It's like having a second open house. Imagine we're hosting a second open house for you. You're just coming on over being like, hey, that's the solar guy, but I'm the agent. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. We'll do this with every single one of your clients. But every customer that your client refers us, we're going to pay you a passive income uh, stream as well. We're going to do 100% of the work. You're not even going to refer us this client, but we're still going to pay you. So remember those 12 deals that you referred us and you made 36 grand on? Let's say we got each one of those 12 to refer us one. You're going to make another 18 grand. You made 54,000. Bottom line is if you want to make an extra 30 to 70 grand, 80 grand, 90 grand this year, let's get together. Let's schedule an activation and let's make some money together as a team. Let's work. This is a full team thing. So what are your next steps? If you haven't enrolled yet, that's the obvious next step. From there, activation. I'm going to introduce you guys to Tom right now. Tom's going to take just a minute or two. He's going to tell you what he's going to do for y'all. In the meantime, text, text him. Just say, hey, I'm, you know, Vaughn or I'm Anna. Here's his phone number right now. Uh, Tom, let me kick it to you, partner. And uh, let me go ahead and let you share anything that you want to share regarding how you're going to support these people. Thank you, Nick. And uh, good after, I guess, good morning, everyone. Uh, Tom Abrams, I would end up being your personal executive account manager. I will be the one, as Nick said, uh, making contact uh, with your clients in the referral. And I just want you to understand that in my 40 years in the commercial banking and investment uh, management industry, I understand how delicate your relationships are with, with your clients. Um, I probably better the most because I straddle two, uh, two spheres, one very much like you, a commission-based sales uh, when I was doing money management and then sitting behind the big desk when I was uh, uh, president of a bank not so many years ago and started uh, in my youth. This is a partnership between you and I. This is, I'm going to be treating your clients. They become my clients. And in this process of you gaining, my gaining your trust and then eventually earning your client's trust, I would like very much with your permission, I when I reach out to you and we begin the activation process because you can't make money until we get activated, I'm gonna reach out to you. Please give me a fall, call back. We'll only take 15 minutes or so of your time to get you activated. And then what I will ask of you is please just share your electric bill. Even if you're not interested in solar right now, just share your electric bill with me. I'm going to have our engineers create a custom proposal just for your home, but this is more about you experiencing the process directly, that which your client will experience with me. I'm going to explain the process to you. You're going to go through it. And who knows, you may actually be shocked at how much you could personally save. At the end of the process, you're going to understand my personality. You're going to understand my methodology of how I present the information. And please know, I am not a salesman. I consider myself an educator. What we're going to do is I'm going to answer your questions. And I am anticipating that there's going to be some objections on your end. You may have some uh, prejudices that, that you hold because of a past experience, as was alluded to. And I want that opportunity to explain things to you of how it's changed. You've gotten a ton of information in a very short period of time today. We're going to take this a little bit slower. And I want to make sure that you are comfortable with everything, because until you are, why would you in the world introduce me, a stranger, to your client? We're not going to be strangers. For, for much longer. And it is my job to help lead you through everything we can do to help build your business and your brand and your community and give you a sensible, casual touch to stay in touch with your former and current clients. And as Paulo was making very clear, your people are going to be going solar. You're going solar. Everyone already has what we refer to in our business as a power purchase agreement. You've already agreed with Florida Power and Light or whoever, you are buying power and you're paying X amount of dollars for it. You're already doing it. 
So why not take control? Why not freeze your bill at today's price and it never go up again? Why not get the government to take half of the cost of it off of your back with tax credits? This thing, once it's explained, becomes a no-brainer. And I want to take the time so that you're comfortable and you understand that. Thank hey, you. Tom, I look forward to working you. with you. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much. So guys, in closing here, if you haven't enrolled yet, hit the enroll. Tom, go ahead and put your phone number and email in the um, in the chat box. Um, you're going to go ahead and get yourself an activation with Tom one on one. Submit your own home for analysis, so that way he can build you a personal proposal. If you don't have one, um, just borrow one from mom, dad, sister, cousin, somebody that's close to the fam. And then after your activation, we're going to show you how to share through posting, texting, emailing, and then we're going to make you some money, right? We're going to earn. So uh, that's what I got to share with you, Paulo. Closing thoughts from you. Yeah, I just want to reiterate uh, the most important part of this is we've thrown a lot of you a lot at you during this hour. You've pretty much drunk from a from a fire hose. But the most important thing that you need to remember here is that we're not asking you to learn anything new, and we're not asking you to take any time away from your real estate business. This is a massive opportunity. Our clients are going solar, whether we like it or not, and they're going solar with or without us. So it might as well be us to, that gets compensated. Thank you, brother. Hey, I appreciate you guys for your time today. Um, and hopefully you see the professionalism, what we're doing. You see our angle, what we're trying to do with, with the brokers and agents to fill the gap of income. Um, and we're just a different type of group of people as entrepreneurs that entered into an industry that is inevitable, but is is has been kidnapped by alarm guys that, that are doing solar. And we're going to go and make this a more professional industry. So Dave, you're my brother. I appreciate you, man. Thanks for having Thank us Thank you. Absolutely. So you. guys, I just keep in mind, man, I wanted to bring people like Nick, Paolo and Tom over to add to what you're doing. I'm not trying to bring, when we put out that post that said, make more money, it was not to get you out of real estate. I love real estate. I think if you're in real estate, you got to love it. So enjoy it. Sell the houses, but add this as a complimentary service to you selling the house. Like Nick and Paolo said, it's a five minute thing. Hey guys, are you interested in putting solar on your, on your roofs? I've got the guys, I'll put you in registration. Guy named Tom will call you. You guys can take it from there. And, and that's it. That's like, that's the whole pitch. you right. And then let these guys who sell, right? It would be like them trying to sell real estate for you. No, they're going to sell the solar. Let these guys who do that explain the entire system and entire pricing and, you know, the benefits and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera to them, you know? And so um, I hope that you really enjoyed this. Obviously, uh, next week is Thanksgiving. How quickly did that come up, guys? Next week is Thanksgiving, so we won't be doing our, our normal Thursday presentation. I mean, unless you want to, I'm, I'll hang out with y'all guys with some turkey, but uh, we probably won't be doing it. The following week after that, we're going to bring another guest on. And then for the next three weeks after that, we'll have guests on that are going to help you guys uh, make complimentary income to your real estate business. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Have a fantastic Freedom Thursday. We appreciate you. Bye, everyone. Love you, Dave. Looking Love forward you, to working with you all.